Frodo. Frodo's face. Frodo's legs. What? His eyes aren't blue? That's one of the things that set Frodo apart in the movies. Need I say anything? Hey, Gimli has Frodo's legs. And they still have the same problem. Gimli's face is. Hugo Weaving isn't trying to kill somebody in this scene. But he sure looks like he wants to. Guys wearing tiaras. Licorice hair. Arwen. Arwen's lips. Yes, I know how weird that sounded. My, what a big bow you have. I mean, there's no reason for her, especially, to have a bow in this scene. I mean, what's she gonna do? Commit patricide? Or, <gasps> even worse, hobbitside? Dwarficide? You know, I don't think she ever has a face like this in any of the movies. Just saying. And by the way, she's not old and wrinkly. Yay, now I can split Rivendell in half. That serves no purpose at all. Obvious function is obvious. You know, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, but... I remember the council being bigger than this. I thought there was, like, 30 people instead of 3. Yeah, that scene was so long and boring, I can understand why they included swivel chairs. If I was at the council, I'd want swivel chairs too. Sticker triplets! Okay, when the Eye of Sauron makes an appearance, it's quick, brief, and momentary. I don't think I could have fit any more adjectives meaning the same thing into one sentence. It doesn't just sit there and stare at you while crickets sound in the background. Also, the Eye of Sauron is a completely unmenacing sticker. Oh, these stairs were such a pain to build. Also, hole. Random piece that jets out. Weapons rack. Also, I thought this sword was going to be exclusive to the Second Age Elrond polybag. Now it's not, and, well, that brings down the purpose of me having Second Age Elrond down by a lot. Also, we get Sting, but we don't get old Bilbo to give it to Frodo. I mean, he didn't just, Frodo didn't just walk around Rivendell in the movie and say, Hey, look at this cool sword. I think I'll steal it. And look what idea that gives to kids. Moving roof. Also, this roof is Monet style. And finally... There are tons of statues in Rivendell, don't get me wrong, but I don't remember seeing any tiny ones on the roof. There's no place for Sam, Mary, or Pippin to hide. This is just the Fellowship and Elrond. Ten people. Can you imagine how much more ridiculous this would look like with all the random elves, dwarves, and men that were here? Yeah, it would look absolutely absurd. There'd be people in the trees, on the roof, under the floorboards. Oh, and one last thing. When are they going to bring Lego Lord of the Rings back? It's been over a year now. Where is it?